Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our topic is about the difference between the flexible payment and the rigid payment. As there are two types of payments used in the road construction projects, so here we are going to discuss the uh, the difference between these two types of payments. So the first uh, difference is about the lifespan. The lifespan of the flexible payment is usually 15 years. They are designed for 15 years of period and while the rigid payments are designed for almost 30 years. So they are more durable, durable structure, durable payments, they are less durable payment. Coming to the second difference, the second difference is that they use bitumen as a binder material in case of the flexible payment. This bitumen is a binder material is a binder material while the rigid payment use concrete is a binder material concrete is a binder material as we can see that always in case of the rigid payment there is a concrete and the and the last floor of the uh, uh, we can send the last uh, step of the payment there is a concrete surface while the in case of the flexible payment there is a bitumen so we call that the binder is used as a bitumen here in this case the concrete is used so due to these materials they transfer the load by grain to grain particle transfer grain to grain transfer of load transfer of load right while in this case in the rigid payment they transfer the slave action take place the load transfer by the slave action slave action take place like in case of the flexible payment consider this is a flexible payment so uh, they transfer the loads they consider these are the particles of the flexible payment so they transfer the load by this method when the load is coming they transfer the load in this form this is the speciality of the flexible payment by grain to grain particle size to the ground while in case of the rigid payment uh, these are the slaves consider these are the slaves in case of the rigid payments so the load acts on these slaves and they bend and they low transfer the load like as we, as we as we know how the slave transfer the load in rc structure so they transfer the load as the slave type like the slave action so now coming to the another difference between these two is the is the cost the initial cost of this type of payment is less initial cost is less but but their maintenance cost is more but their maintenance cost maintenance cost is more is more while in this case it is the opposite of this the initial cost of this is more but the maintenance cost is less maintenance cost is less these are the opposite of one another right the other difference is the flexible payments usually take less load as compared to the uh, take less load as compared to the rigid payments while the rigid payments take more load due to the concrete behavior take more load because concrete have high strength as we compare to the uh, these type of uh, subgrades are used in the flexible payment is the bitumen here is concrete due to this material they take the more load in comparison to this of the flexible payment both takes heavy load of uh, any kind of traffic but they take more load in comparison to this of flexible payment the six difference is they have usually more thickness and the flexible payment have usually more thickness while the rigid payment have usually of less thickness in comparison to the flexible payment the other differences are between these two is uh, there is there are no joints are required joints are not required are not required in case of the uh, flexible payment while in case of the rigid payments you should provide the joints usually they are provided joints are required Usually they are provided at a distance of 10 meter or 5 meter and 
you should provide the joints it may be expansion joints usually expansion joints are mostly used in case of the rigid payments and they're provided after the 10 meter and throughout the rigid payment so these were the all main differences between these two type of payments and according to these factors the engineer designed the payment uh, as per this considering these all factors so these were the differences between these two and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.